In this video, I'll show you how to generate random numbers in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael, and I make tutorials and quick tips on how to use LibreOffice Calc. Let's get started. In Calc, there's actually several functions that we can use to generate random numbers. The most easiest one is just rand. So I'll go ahead and type in the formula. This formula generates a random number from 0 to 1. In this case, it gave me something like 0 0.4018, etc, etc. Normally, people want a random number between 1 and 100 or some other limit. So one way to do that is we can multiply this random number and get an integer back from it through using the formula bar and doing more math. But thankfully, calc has a simple function for us to do that directly. The function that we want to use is called rand between, and I'll go ahead and type that in. Rand. You can see in the tooltip that is in a light yellow shade, it'll take two parameters. One is bottom and top. So I'll go ahead and put in 1 to 100 and press enter. And now it gave me the number 35. Now you may have noticed when I pressed enter to generate a random number, the other random number actually changed on it. And let me try showing you what I mean. Here I'll copy cell A5, and I'll just paste it somewhere else, press enter. And every time I press the key, it almost seems like cell A3 changes on its own. The reason for this is because the rand function is volatile. That means every time there's a calculation going on, the rand function will go ahead and give us a new random number. And for cell A5, the function is actually rand between dot NV. The NV, as you may have guessed, stands for non-volatile. So every time there's a refresh or a new calculation, cell A5 will not generate a new random number for us. Now, calc also has a function called rand between without the nv, and it acts very similar to the rand function itself, except it allows for a bottom and top parameter. So here I'll press enter, and this generated 96 for me. Now to force recalculation, we can press the F9 button. So now I'll press it once. And we can see that cell A3 and cell A7 actually changed in its calculation. Let me try pressing the key F9 again, and we see cell A3 and cell A7 keeps changing on us. So you might think that's kind of random. Why would the cell keep changing random numbers on us? Well, that's just a feature. It's not a bug. If you want your random numbers to stay fixed, just make sure to use this function, randbetween.nv. And if you wanted it to generate a number between 1 and 1,000, we can just update the function. Now we see it generated 535 for us. Now if you wanted to generate a lot of random numbers, all we have to do is copy the cell and paste it into many, many other cells. And I'll just generate as many numbers as we want based on how many times we paste the cell. It's essentially just pasting the formula into every cell that I'm putting it into. Of course, typically you wouldn't do this. You probably fit it all within a certain row or certain column. I'm just having fun going at it, producing random numbers. So that's all there is to it. Pretty random, right? Thanks for watching this quick tip. And as always, stay nifty.